Okey, yang ni adalah uh, jawapan untuk question 9. Okey, question 9 yang ni lah. Kompon K, L, M dengan N. Tengok. So, yang ni. Kalau dia react dengan, uh, dia buat bromination, dia akan dapat kompon K dengan L. Dia akan dapat dua lah sebab methy group ni adalah OP director. Yang ni pula, kompaun yang ni ni, atau Louis ni, react dengan potassium pemanganan in the present of uh, acidic condition. Yang ni adalah oxidation punya proses. So, dia akan hasilkan carboxylic group here. So, akan produce compound M. Benzoic acid kan. So, benzoic acid undergo acylation, with the crowd acylation. So, dia akan produce only one compound which is compound N. Sebab apa? Satu je. Sebab COOH ni adalah meta director. So, it will direct this group to the location 1, 3. To the location 3. M director. So, untuk question B, dia suruh kamu predict yang mana lebih cepat. Uh, nitration process bagi compound N which is benzoic acid ataupun to toluene. Of course, jawapan dia yang ni lah. Toluene lah lebih cepat undergo nitration process sebab dekat dia punya ring ada substituent uh, akil. Substituent akil ni, akil group ni uh, will act as will act as um, activating group. So, activating group dia akan donate electron to the benzene ring. So, dia akan donate electron to the benzene ring. Nak pandang macam ni kan? Donate. Donate electron to the benzene ring. And dia akan hmm, stabilize kabur kat ion intermediate. Yang dalam masa yang sama bila dah stable, dia akan increase the rate of reaction. Compare to benzoic acid ni. Benzoic acid ni dia ada carboxylic group that act as a deactivating group. Deactivating group ni apa function dia? Deactivating group, it will withdraw electron from the benzene ring, destabilize the carbocation intermediate and decrease the rate of reaction. Of course, toluene akan bertindak balas lebih cepat sebab dia ada activating group. Compare to yang ni, dia ada deactivating group. Ha, so, you explain macam tu lah. And then, for question 10, Okay, for question 10. Write a complete chemical equation for the following reaction by suitable reagents and condition if required. A. Bromination of toluene. So, you have toluene here. React with it. When it's state bromination, always remember Br2 in the presence of Fe Br3. So, kalau Friedel craft acylation ke, acylation ke, depan ni mesti aluminium. Kalau bromination, chlorination, depan ni mesti Iron. Okay. So. Yang ni jawapan ada dua. Sebab dia ada CH3 ni. Sebab CH3 will act as OP director. So it will direct location bromine to the location 1, 2 plus location 1. Then B Feed the craft Accumulation of benzene With a benzyl What is this? Benzyl chloride With a benzyl chloride Okay, what is the structure for for benzyl chloride? CH two Cl in the present of aluminium trichloride. So, yang ni feeder craft alkylation. Sedangkan saya cakap tadi kalau feeder craft sini mesti aluminium. 
So, your product is Masuk yang ni lah Okay And then for C With the craft oxidation of anisole Okay you need to remember The structure for anisole is OCH3 React with the Acylation Acylation It will be R C double bond O X Here is A L X 3 So the answer is So O R will act as OP director again So it will direct this Group to the location to the location C double point O to the location one two auto and location. Para One Four Okay mm, This is question 10 Then we proceed with Question 11 Question 11 So the question asks you to write the IUPAC name for the compound H so, before you write the name for, are you pet name for the compound H? Of course, you need to find the structural formula for compound H. Okay, what the reaction that involves the, this reagent and condition? Of course, the reaction is Friedel Craft, Aki, Lation. So, do not forget, you have here carboxylic group at your benzene ring. Okay, what is the function of the carboxylic group as a M or meta director? So, it will direct, it will direct, This R group to the location 1, 3. To location me, meta. So, 1, 1, 2, 3. So, here. So, how many carbon do you have? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2. 1, 2, 3. Okay. And what is the name? Are you pet name? So, this is the priority group. Of course, at priority group, you should name the lowest number. You should put lowest number. So, 1, 2, 3. So, the name should be 3. 1, 2, 3, 3. Propyl. Benzoic. Acid. And for B... Determine the product obtained if compound G, here is compound G, right? Compound G is replaced with a phenol. Of course, when it replaced with phenol, the substituent also change, which is here is 
hydroxyl group. So what is the properties of hydroxyl group OH here? So it will act as OP. OP director. So it will So it will direct the location R group to the location ortho and para. Ortho is 1, 2. 1, 2, 2. Plus. Para. Ortho. Orientation one two here is meter orientation one three. Okay. So, question 12 ni macam sama dengan question 10. 10 dengan 12 tak ada. 12 ni tak ada. And then, question 13. Question 13. Last sekali. Question 13. Consider the following reaction. Cl2, you have here UV, light. And it will produce compound A. Okay. Of course, here is reaction at side chain. So, reaction involved. Radical halogenation substitution. So, it will involve side chains. Kalau side chain ni maksudnya dia involve dekat substituen sahaja. So, dia minta apa ni? Dia minta, first dia minta identify the structural formula for compound A first. So, here is. Ini aki group. Ha, ini metil kan. So, dia akan jadi CH2. C. L. Okay. This is the structure formula for compound A. And B. Outline the stepwise mechanism for the above reaction. Okay. Ha, ni bila dia cakap stepwise mechanism, yang ni ada keyword dia. Hint dia. Maksudnya ni kena tunjuk electron flow. So, bila kita bercakap berkenaan dengan radical halogenation substitution, you masih ingat lagi chapter alkane yang ada apa ni, reaction, initiation, propagation and termination reaction. Kalau ada lupa, buka balik lah ya, nota alkane tu. So, first is initiation step. So, okay, what happened at initiation step? The formation of chlorine radical. So, chlorine radical. So, Cl and Cl. One electron goes here, one electron goes here, bond will break. So, it will produce Cl dot. Plus Cl dot by using UV light. So what is the function of UV light? UV light will break C or, uh, Cl molecule homolytically. What does it mean by homolytic? Homolytic or homolytically. Homolytic means that it break the bond and it will divide the electron um, secara secara bilangan elektron secara samalah maksudnya 
Satu elektron bagi ke sini Satu elektron bagi sini Dia tak ada bagi dua-dua sini Sini tak dapat ha, Macam tu Homolitically Dia break Dia bagi Sama rata Okay And then Initiation and we proceed with Propagation Step So normally at propagation step We have a few step here So what happen here uh, Kat sini ada methyl group kan So it will react with the radical that you produce at insertion step first. So, have two electron here. So, bond will break. So, one electron goes here. One electron goes here and this electron goes here. So, they can produce. Macam tu. Kan. Lepas tu Step tu You ambil yang ni balik Then react with Another chlorine molecule yang tak Pecah lagi jadi radical So Bond break here. One electron goes here. One electron goes here. One electron goes here. Then you will produce. CH2 Cl. Plus. Seal dot. Okay, yang ni lah produk yang kamu dapat. Yang ni tadi. Yang ni. So. Okay, uh, pentingnya that this is important that you need to terminate the reaction. Why? Because radical halogenation substitution ni Dia akan proceed kalau you dia akan proceed berlaku until all the hydrogen at this carbon is substitute with Cl. So kita tak nak akan jadi sini klorin sini klorin. So kita kena terminate. Macam mana nak terminate? Macam mana nak terminate? So, termination step. So, number one. Cl radical react with Cl radical. Maksudnya terminate ni kita akan react radical sama radical untuk produce balik molecule. Maksudnya bila dah produce molecule. So, uh, reaction tu akan stop lah. So, dia akan produce chlorine molecule. And... CL radical react with benzyl radical ni kan to produce nah yang ni yang you dapat tadi ni and then number 3 is uh, benzyl radical sesama dia So dia akan produce back
Hmm, macam tu. So kalau kita buat anak panah dia akan jadi macam ni lah. Aero kan. Macam tu. Maksud sini bercantum lah. Hmm. So bercantum kat sini lah kan. Kat sini. Kat sini. And dekat sini. Okay. So your mechanism is complete.